the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame adds the beat to the heart of Muskogee. Located in the Depot District, thousands of tourists stop here each year. Merle Haggard is probably our number one guy through the door. We have done tours from Japan, Moscow, Russia, Belgium, South Africa, South America, New Zealand, Australia. And you ask them what brings you to America, and I thought a lot of them would be saying, you know, Route 66 or something like that. They can barely get this out, Oki from Muskogee, Merle Haggard, we come. Merle Haggard's worldwide impact was a catalyst for the museum's opening, and he was the first inductee in 1997. There have been more than 100 honorees since, all with ties to Oklahoma. And that ranges anywhere from uh, Native American tribes, who we consider some of the first musicians in Oklahoma, to the, the early, the jazz greats from the 30s and on up. Uh, obviously lots of country music honorees, but also a lot of rock. You'll find a little bit of everything in this museum, and curator Ronald Boren will take you on a fun, fact-filled, personal tour. Nice he begins with this wall of fame featuring all inductees. Here, and we tell them about Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys. A lot of tourists from Texas wondering why this picture is on our wall up here in Oklahoma. And a lot of them don't realize that the four brothers moved to Tulsa in the early 30s. And we have to be gentle with that because they're very defensive about Bob Wills down there. All inductees have been to the museum and most donate to the collection. You'll see items like Toby Keith's cowboy hat and Hank Thompson's western shirt. New gear from up and comers is in rotation too. We have a rising star that we like to honor the, the up and coming artist. Uh, John Fulbright is one of those recently, the Swan Brothers, All American Rejects, Hinder. So, and they've all been here and presented us with something that we can show. And so we love to honor the uh, the young ones in the up and coming. Gold records cover the hallways. There are about a hundred from music manager Jim Halsey's private collection. Reba McIntyre, the Oak Ridge Boys, Lee Greenwood, Don Williams, Merle Haggard, Tammy Wynette, Clint Black, uh, Dwight Yoakam. It's just absolutely incredible uh, the amount of artists that Jim Halsey was able to manage. The museum is also home to costumes and instruments, including signed guitars from greats like Eric Clapton, B.B. King, and J.J. Kale. Right here is Roy Clark's banjo. Uh -huh. And if you can ever watch the reruns of Hee Haw, you will see Roy playing this uh, banjo right here. Neat. There's lots of rare Merle memorabilia, too. We've got a, a guitar Merle presented us at his induction in 1997 that we're very proud of. And uh, his hat, his uh, a lot of his albums that we have here. The one in particular we're proud of is the album he recorded just two blocks away called Live from Muskogee. That was uh, October 10th, 1969, one CMA and ACM album of the year. And uh, so that was the iconic, which had the single Oki from Muskogee on it. Not only will you find a great museum here at the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame, but you'll also find a huge music hall. They have concerts here every Thursday night. They tape a TV show here, and they also hold special events. Most of the time for the Thursday night, it's a, it's a walk-up charge. Uh, on special shows, we do advanced sales. You go to our, our website or our Facebook page is usually the best place to see what's the most current thing happening. While it's free to tour the museum, donations are suggested. Plan on spending an hour or longer at the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame. No matter what type of music you're into, it's likely something here will strike a chord. In Muskogee, I'm Julie Chin, Discovering Oklahoma.